In this video, we're going to take a look at Rekordbox and specifically how we change the tempo within a track. In this case, we're going to use Go Back by Subfocus and John Summit. It'll start off at 136 BPM, but will eventually transition to 174. I've already gone ahead and inserted this song into Rekordbox. It's been analyzed incorrectly. Shocker. First, we need to find a kick drum because it has a strong transient, and that's going to help us define our first beat. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change the BPM right now to its correct 136. And you can see all the grid markers are way off. So we're going to fix that now, and we're going to make sure that these grid markers are in line with the transients. And specifically, what we're going to do now is place the first beat marker on that first kick drum at the very start of the kick drum on the initial transient. So now I'm going to zoom in nice and tight to make sure I can get the playhead exactly at the beginning of this transient. This looks pretty good. Nice. Now that we have the playhead exactly at the beginning of our transient, click this. This sets the first beat of the first bar. Now let's go ahead and zoom out because we want to give everything a listen. Uh, what we want to make sure is that our grid lines are aligned with our downbeats. So the next thing that we're going to have to do is find out where in this track the tempo changes from 136 to 174. Uh, I'm very familiar with this track, so I know exactly where that's going to happen. For the sake of time saving, we're going to dive right into it. But just know that with a lot of these songs where the tempo changes, there's going to be a period of time where it's going to progressively go from one to the next. So we want to tell Rekordbox exactly where this happens, where the old tempo is completely transitioned into the new tempo. Quick side note based on experience with a lot of these songs that have uh, transitions built into them, generally you're going to have a big buildup right before a drop where the new tempo has fully taken over. You can do this by listening for the first beat after the buildup, or you can just do it visually because if you look at the overview, look at all these transients and they are much lower and this section, which means that this is probably a buildup. And the beginning of this hot pink spiky waveform is definitely going to be our first beat following the buildup. So let's go ahead and jump to the beginning of this hot pink waveform. And let's move the playhead right at the beginning so we are hitting the very beginning of the transient. Now let's cue it up and listen to it to make sure it sounds nice and punchy. So now instead of using the red and white marker to set the beat, I'm going to use this little tool. So what I just did is I told Rekordbox that, hey, this tempo is going to change here. And now that we defined where the tempo change takes place, now we got to insert the value of that tempo change. So now when the playhead passes this point of the song, the tempo and the beat grid will change to 174. Anything before this marker will have the standard beat of 136. So there you have it. That is how to set up a tempo change within a song within Rekordbox. I hope you guys find this helpful. If you did, like and subscribe, and maybe I'll get motivated enough to make uh, more videos.